Hello everybody, this is Boaz Feiler, I'm your friendly neighborhood evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 20th and the 27th of January 2017. So, what do we have in the skies this week? We have a conjunction between Mercury, the planet of th thoughts, words, ideas, how we and walk forward in our life and navigate our life within our surroundings and environment and whatever is acceptable and correct in the discourse, in the public discourse. What society thinks is true and not true. The ideas and words of society as well is connected with Gemini. And Gemini is meeting Plutonic uh, or Plutonic Pluto would, would not be very nice. So let's say uh, volcanic Pluto. And these two are meeting, you know, and, and Pluto, of course, is the, the ruler of Scorpio, the modern ruler of Scorpio. And it's all about these volcanoes spitting the emotional lava from within us, from underneath our surface into the world and creating new ground when that lava cools down creating new ground for us to develop on at first it's scorched black but if we work right with it with a little rain it becomes hawaii okay so very fruitful transformation transformative time regarding our own ideas and the way we navigate our love forward our life forward but if we take it to the public scene the discourse can change New ideas can come up, or we can have power struggles, again, connected with Pluto, regarding what is right and what isn't right. What is ethically and morally acceptable and what isn't. It's about unveiling those taboos. It's about uh, 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 excavating those hidden secrets and really shedding light, public light, when it comes to Mercury. On these darkened subjects and if you remember last time this conjunction appeared in the sky you know the last cycle the, when Mercury and Pluto met they met in Capricorn like they are meeting today about a year ago at the end of January 2017 let's remember what happened then there was a great struggle power struggle regarding the public discourse. Trump was inaugurated and chose uh, 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 the, the, the people who are going to rule with him. On the other hand, we had over 2 million women worldwide protesting words and ideas portrayed by Trump regarding women, grabbed them by the... Not going to repeat that. Over 500,000 women in Washington alone. So we see that this is a volatile time as well. And this is a time that personally, we need to watch our words and the way we articulate ourselves. Because A, we can say things that we didn't mean to say because we wanted them to be kept hidden, but they just sp uh, sp spilled out. Or we can say things that are actually very um, cruel or harmful to other people. That we utilize our words too powerfully. That we're not in control over what we say and think. So personally, as people, this is a dance with the shadow. The public comes in to face the most intimate and hidden. Our surroundings are faced by our you know most uh, by our nakedness so to speak so we have to watch out from embarrassment either embarrassing ourselves or embarrassing others and I would love to see what hap what is happening with Donald Trump and the Trump uh, administration at this time during the next 
couple of weeks. If we're talking about Mercury as traveling, then we can have changes in the way we are traveling as well. And if you remember the controversial ban of travel to the US from seven Muslim countries happened exactly when Mercury and Pluto were conjunct last year as well. So let's begin uh, this week. Today, the 20th, we have the Moon conjunct Neptune. It's great if you want to meditate, if you want to go outside in nature, if you want to have some uh, uh, vacation time outside or paint or sculpt or do anything artistic or just lay in front of the TV or go to the cinema. It's not so good if you're planning to do the budget for next month or to go over the bills for the last one because our left brain and our, our analytic uh, capabilities are not at their greatest. We can be much more forgetful and discombobulated. So don't do it. Wait another day. Um, on the 21st, or another two days really, on the 21st we have the moon conjunct Chiron. It's a sensitive day. It's a day that we can get hurt much more easily or hurt others more easily, but it's not all negative. It's a day that if we pay attention to our pains and aches, we could actually heal them and help others in our family circle, in our intimate circle, heal as well, moon, uh, intimate and, and, and Chiron healing. Um, on the same day, on the 21st, we have two beautiful celestial ladies um, dancing a dance in the skies. We have Hygieia and Juno, the goddess of medicine with the goddess of women, long-term relationship and marriage, and the hearth, the heart of the home. And Juno, of course, is Hera, the, uh, uh, the spouse of Zeus, Jupiter. And uh, Hygieia is in charge of our hygiene, both personally and in the outside world. So Hygieia and Juno are conjunct, as if saying, listen, we have to be dedicated, we have to be faithful to health, to hygiene right now. What kind of hygiene? What kind of health? Well, it's on the south node. They are conjunct on the south node. So again, connecting to the family. The family of who? Where is the south node? It's in Aquarius. The family of men. Humanity. We have to be dedicated and faithful to the health of humanity at this time. What is affecting the health of humanity opposing on the north node is Ceres Demeter the goddess of nature Gaia so the health of the world is affecting humanity's health or humanity needs to right now come together to assist the health of Gaia assist the health of the world it would be interesting to see if there would be any positive or negative developments during the next week or so regarding environmental issues. And that can fuel that Mercury-Pluto conjunction and discourse regarding environmental issues. On the 22nd, we have the Moon square Saturn. It's a day that we are more critical and judgmental, both, both towards ourselves and others. But that is mitigated by a lot of positive aspects by the Moon to other planets, uh, 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 personal planets, as, as well as others. So it's a very energetic day as well. And it's a day that we can take things forward also in work-related environments. Um, so that's not uh, such a bad day. It's, it, could be, it could prove useful and good for us as long as we're not too judgmental. On the 23rd, we have the Moon squaring that Mercury-Pluto. And that Mercury-Pluto conjunction is going to be exact on the 24th. So we're feeling it already from the beginning of the week. But the 23rd, the 24th are prime money times. So watch how you articulate yourself. Watch what you say. 
watch what you say because you don't want to unveil things you don't want to, uh, others to know or you don't want to hurt others or yourself or embarrass yourself be careful not to be cruel with your speech um, on the 24th the moon is also on Uranus and that's a day that we can think outside the box we could be genius we could really be uh, ahead of our time with the way we think and want to take our life forward and there's a need for excitement and forward fast forward movement at that day but if somebody is not walking in, in our pace we can get angry or uh, or feel that they're dull and boring very fast we have a short fuse and we don't have any patience so watch that on the 25th we're getting to the first quarter moon we have a half moon in the sky that's a first quarter moon and we're heading on to a, a lunar eclipse on January 31st we're going to talk about that on our next video 26 Mars the planet of male energy the planet of our feistiness and aggressiveness the planet of entrepreneurship the planet of action the planet of sexuality is walking into the fiery sign of Sagittarius it's intraplicity there and it feels very well almost too well almost too sure of himself and sometimes this Mars can act like an adolescent boy and jump into situation he hasn't thought through and be too extravagant and to go too far and too high so over the, f the next few weeks watch your actions and watch your impulsiveness and watch your sexuality and watch your carnality and watch your assertivity that it won't turn into aggressiveness watch that you don't uh, 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 walk over other people's uh, thumbs and, 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 and toes because that Mars and Sagittarius is too headstrong and too adventurous for its own good sometime on the same day the 26th we have the moon opposition Jupiter and Mars so it's certainly a day that we need to be more logical and a little bit step away from our enthusiasm not getting enveloped by the passion and not be too sure or optimistic of ourselves uh, humble is the key word for that day and a little uh, cerebrality cerebra little, blah, 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 blah. using your brains would take you very would 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 be a good a good step uh, and, and on the 26th on the 27 we have the moon conjunct Aldebaran Aldebaran one of the four royal stars of old a very important and prominent uh, fixed star it's in the left eye of the bull and Aldebaran was considered to be granting a lot of honors and respect and love from the public but and there's a big but there if you haven't worked with that energy in a moral and ethical manner because Alderbrand talks about riches and honors that you've not necessarily worked for you know that are are coming to you from 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 your surroundings and if you're not honoring enough if you're not ethical enough it can all be taken away in a catastrophic and tragic manner that's the nature of Aldebaran so when Aldebaran is conjunct the moon they say it can be good for your domestic environment and family it can be good for business as well uh, because it brings those riches home but we have to be very mindful of our ethics and morality so those uh, presents would not end in calamity so next week we're going to talk about the lunar eclipse coming up and I want to thank you for listening I want to thank you for every like and comment and share you do to these videos because you help them get exposed and for courses private lessons or private consultations in evolutionary astrology you're more than welcome to contact me have a beautiful week. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.